What's up everyone, it's Bones here. In today's video, what you'll see is just an illusion, an illusion in the form of a brand new typing for the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. But before that, if you're a fan of in-depth combo videos and learning about different decks, then channel your inner Zorark and deceive yourself into clicking those thumbs up and subscribe buttons. Oh wait, I'm pretty sure that's the wrong game, but we'll start here with the Cornfield Kotal, and this card reads, if this card battles a monster, neither monster can be destroyed by battle. You can only use each of the following effects of Kotal once per turn. You can discard this card, add one monster that mentions Chimera Fusion from your deck to your hand, except Kotal. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card you control while you control the Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast quick effect, you can banish this card from your field or graveyard, negate that effect. And if you do, destroy that card. So there's a couple of really cool things about this card, first being that it's an illusion, it's also a wind type level 4, 500 attack, 1700 defense, and it's an engine starter as you see the first combo we have here is a one card combo with it to give you the protection effect via field or graveyard is really nice for an additional effect so we're going to start here by using the kotal and we'll be able to add ourselves the second new card the mirror swordsman and this one reads if this card battles a monster neither monster can be destroyed by battle you can only use each of the following effects of mirror swordsman once per turn quick effect you can tribute this card special summon one monster that mentions chimera fusion from your deck, except Mirror Swordsman. When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field while you control Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast, quick effect, you can banish this card from your field or graveyard and negate that effect. Another negate, and another thing I would like to point out, as this is the second illusion monster, but this one is light, level 4, 1900 attack, 300 defense. Both illusion monsters have the line of text that reads, if this card battles a monster, neither monster can be destroyed by that battle. And this looks to possibly be an illusionist exclusive exclusive thing, but we will see as the game progresses along with these cards, as we can't confirm that. But for now, that is what it seems to be, as we're going to now normal summon the Mirror Swordsman, as this is a special summon from deck, which is really nice. It allows us to give us access into the next new card, the Big Winged Burfamet, and this one reads, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one level 4 beast monster and or one Chimera Fusion from your deck to your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except fusion monsters. If this card is sent to the graveyard as material for a fusion summon, you can target one illusion monster in your graveyard, special summon it. You can only use each effect of Big Wing Burfamet once per turn. And this is a level 5, which the level itself isn't too great, it is a fiend dark, so this is not an illusionist. That being said, it does support your illusionist stuff in regards to what we have so far. And while the fusion lock may seem detrimental, it's really not because this is just a fusion deck and it does give you two searches and we'll be able to get ourselves the next new card, Gazelle the King of Mystical Claws or Mythical Claws. And this one reads, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one level 5 fiend monster or one chimera fusion from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard as material for a fusion summon, you can add one illusion monster monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect of Gazelle once per turn. Another really nice thing I would like to point out here is, as a fusion archetype that wants to send things to the graveyard, the Gazelle, the King of Mythical Claws, and the Burfamet both have effects that happen if they are used for fusion material and sent to the graveyard. But then the other thing is, these effects also are good in the graveyard, give you more value for what you do with your fusion summons. But now we have Chimera Fusion, and this is a quick play spell that you can only add activate during the main phase, and fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material, including a beast or fiend monster. During your main phase, if this card is in your graveyard and you have Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast on your field or in your graveyard, you can activate one of these effects. Add this card to your hand, banish this card, and if you do, special summon one Gazelle the King of Mythical Beasts and one Burfamet from your deck and or graveyard. You can only use this effect of Chimera Fusion once per turn. The second effect isn't really too important unless you do want to play the Garnets. I really do like the first effect being able to add itself back to hand because as a quick play you can then turn this into an interruption after using it on your opponent's turn. Another popular Chimera card that we have in the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game is the Guardian Chimera, and this is a card that takes three monsters with different names and must be fusion summoned using only fusion monsters from your hand and or field with at least one monster from each. Then if this card is fusion summoned by a spell or effect, you can draw cards equal to the number of cards used as material from the hand and 
and if you do, destroy cards your opponent controls equal to the number of cards used as material from the field. And you can only use this effect of Guardian Chimera once per turn, and while Polymerization is in your graveyard, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Showing off Guardian Chimera, you can see what part of the strategy is here. With the Chimera Fusion being a quick play fusion spell similar to Branded in Red, now we're going to activate our Chimera Fusion as we'll go into our first new fusion monster, the Chimera the Phantom Beast King. It's a wind beast and it reads that it takes one beast monster plus one fiend monster. This card's name becomes Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast while on the field or in the graveyard, but it is still treated as a Phantom Beast card. You can only use each of the following effects of Chimera the Phantom Beast King once per turn. If this card is fusion summoned, you can activate this card. During the end phase of this turn, send one random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard, and during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one beast, fiend, or illusion monster in your graveyard, special summon it. And this is a really nice combo of effects here, because you have the hand rip, you have the ability to revive a card from the graveyard with it, or at least a beast, fiend, or illusion, which can end up being your mirror swordsman if you want to dodge something like a bestial. Just little things like that if you just want to get out the mirror swordsman on the field. But not only can you get the mirror swordsman onto the field just to dodge interruption, you can also do it in order to get your engine going back on follow-up plays because you can just special summon this out off of the Chimera during the end phase of your opponent's turn to your entire engine again with the Mirror Swordsman. So we're going to continue here by using the effect of the Claws and the Burfamet along with the Chimera as we'll be able to get ourselves the special summon of the Mirror Swordsman, get ourselves the Kotal, and now we'll be able to use the effect of the Fusion to add itself back to hand. And now we can set it, which will wrap up our first combo as we're just going to go to our opponent's turn where we can use the effect of the mirror swordsman to bring out the burfamet and i'm showing this in order to show how you cycle through your engine because i feel that's the most important thing you need to know with this deck otherwise you're just fusion summoning and you're fusion summoning into cards dependent on the situation that you're in those are just options i can go over in the deck profile so we'll use the effect of the burfamet now as we'll be able to get ourselves the claws and the fusion rounding out the first combo. For the second combo, we have just Mirror Swordsman alone, and this one allows you to cycle through your engine similarly, except you just take a different approach to it since you have to normal summon first, which makes you more vulnerable to interruptions. But we're going to use the effect of the Chimera Fusion in order to fuse away into our Chimera. Use the effect of the Claws and the Perfumet in the graveyard to bring back our Mirror Swordsman, get a search, and also the Chimera effect in order to rip the card from our opponent's hand. We'll get ourselves the Kotal, as now we can use the Fusion in order to add itself back to hand. And similar to last one, we can get ourselves a search for the Claws, giving us the end board of the Claws in hand, the set Ghost Fusion, or the set Chimera Fusion and then we'll have our engine that can continue to go with the Mirror Swordsman on field to get our Burfamet, use the effect of Burfamet, and now we have access into Springen's kit as well, which is a Branded Fusion Searcher, and that will take me on to my next one. So as you see, we are on the Springen's kit, and it is because we play a small Branded Fusion package, and having the kit in order to search it, and being a beast that can be searched off of the Burfamet is really nice, as we're going to go into our Rindrum, use the effect of the Claws, which will net us a search for the Kotal, and this will give us access into the rest of our engine as we're going to Normal Summon the Mirror Sword, Swordsman, use the effect of the Mirror Swordsman for the Burfamet, then use the effect of the Burfamet, which will add us two cards if we're going to get the Chimera, as we're going to get the Claws along with the Chimera Fusion, and then we're going to activate the Chimera Fusion so that we can go into our Gazelle. Use the effect of our Burfamet to get back the Mirror Swordsman, as we're also going to be able to rip a card. Use the Ghost Fusion, and from here you'll see how we're going to end on what was full combo with Kotal and the Mirror Swordsman, except that Branded Fusion just just allows us to add the Rindrum. And then on our opponent's turn, we can continue to do our Mirror Swordsman stuff. For this next combo, we have Claws along with the Fright for Engine, and you're going to see that this hand does kind of lose to Droll, and the Chimera deck kind of does have that problem in general. With that being said, you do have a lot of slots in order to kind of flex what you do, but we're going to get our Chimera Fusion, activate the Poly, 
You can activate the Chimera Fusion if you want to get it back, but if you want to not risk your Chimera Fusion being banished by anything, then you can keep it in hand. As we're then going to use our effects here, as we'll be able to get the search along with the Special Summon, or the other search for the Kotal. I thought I was using Birth from it for a second, but we're going to use the effect of the Kotal. Now, we'll also get the Hand Rip in the end phase off of the Gazelle, as we're going to be able to get ourselves the Mirror Swordsman, go to the end phase as we'll rip a card. Now, on our opponent's turn, what we'll be able to do is... Our opponent is going to normal summon whatever. We can activate the Chimera Fusion. Now we can fuse away into our next new card, the Magnum the Reliever. And this takes one monster special summon from the extra deck, plus one monster in hand. So yet another super poly target. And you can target one polymerization spell or fusion spell in your graveyard. Place it on the bottom of the deck, then draw one card. When another card or effect is activated, quick effect, you can banish one polymerization spell or fusion spell from your graveyard, then target one card on the field, destroy it. You can only use each effect of Magnum the Reliever once per turn. And this is also why you wanted the polymerization in the graveyard. But we're going to see that my opponent is going to add the Chimera Fusion. Then we can use the effects in the graveyard of the Gazelle in order to trigger our Magnum so that we can get the pop along with the revival of the Mirror Swords and giving us access into our engine so that we can go into our Burfamet and then use the Burfamet in order to get ourselves the two searches. Now for this next combo, we have Branded Fusion plus Fright for Patchwork. And this is another one that is debatable in regards to what you want to do first. You can use the Fright for Patchwork in order to play around the Ash, but most of the times your opponent isn't Ashing that. We're going to bring out the Rindbrum as we're going to use the effect of the Claws, but we're going to then go into Mirror Swordsman off of the Quotals, and again, just rotating through our engine, we're going to be able to tribute off the Mirror Swordsman, go into our Burfamet. The Burfamet can then net us a search for the Claws and the Chimera Fusion. We're then going to to activate the patchwork. Once you get the effect of the Burfamet, you can feel pretty comfortable that you don't have to deal with Joel or potentially an Ash at that point, since if it does resolve, you just have full combo. So we're now going to use the Chimera Fusion going into our Gazelle, as we'll then be able to get ourselves the effect of the Burfamet in order to bring back the Mirror Swordsman along with the Chimera's Chainlink 2 to protect that. And we can use the Chimera Fusion to add itself back to hand, as we're going to then set it. And on that, with the ability to rotate rotate our engine again through the Mirror Swordsman on our opponent's turn. would also like to point out some matchups. You can also use the Polymerization here to fuse away the Edgem Chain along with the Chimera to go into something like Drago Stapelia so that you can set up your Chimera for the next turn while also having that negation that happens to change your opponent's level. Now onto the next combo, and you'll notice that there are a lot of two and one card combos, which is really nice for this deck, as we're going to use the Quotals to get ourselves the Surge, as we're going to get ourselves the claws, normal summon the mirror swordsman, use the mirror swordsman to cycle our engine, as we'll then be able to use the effect of the Burfamet to give ourselves another copy of claws or the Springen's kit, the Chimera Fusion, then activate the Chimera Fusion as we'll fuse away the Burfamet and the claws, then use the effect of the Burfamet and the claws as chain link 1 and 2, then use the effect of the Chimera in order to rip a card from our opponent's hand as chain link 3, get back the mirror swordsman, get ourselves another copy of Quotals, use the effect of the Chimera Fusion to get itself back to hand, as now we can set the Chimera Fusion and end on that. So for this next combo, we have Kotals plus Chimera, and we're going to start this one by using the Kotals in order to get ourselves the Mirror Swordsman, and then we're going to Normal Summon the Mirror Swordsman, doing much like we did previously, just different pieces in hand, as we're going to get ourselves the two searches off of the Burfamet here, and then we're going to activate the Chimera Fusion in order to fuse away a clause with the Burfamet for the Chimera, and then we can go into our effects of the Urfamet and the Oz so that we can get back some advantage along with the ability to use the Gazelle or the Chimera for the Hand Rip as we're going to get back the Mirror Swordsman. And now we can get ourselves the addition of Quotals as we'll use the effect of the Chimera Fusion. And from here, again, if you want to go to another fusion monster, you can with the Chimera Fusion. If you're going first, you'll want to set it and just end on this as you can cycle through your engine with the Mirror Swordsman on your opponent's turn by tributing it off and then getting your second copy of Burfermet from deck. 
before the first and last three card combo, as the next one will be a full hand, as I don't want the video to be too redundant, we're going to use the effect of the Quotals to get ourselves the Mirror Swordsman, use the Mirror Swordsman in order to get ourselves the Special Summon of the Burfamet, use the Burfamet to get ourselves the Gazelle along with the Chimera Fusion. Now we can freely activate the Fright for Patchwork, as this will net us the search for the Poly and the Edge and Chain. Activate the Poly in order to fuse away the Claws along with the Burfamet for the Chimera, then use the effects of the Gazelle along with the Burfamet and the Phantom Beast as we'll be able to get ourselves the Hand Rip, the Revive, and the Search. And then we can add ourselves the Quotals as we'll activate the Branded Fusion now, send ourselves the Claws along with the Albaz for the Rinbrum. Now we'll be able to set the Chimera Fusion and end on that. I'll, I'll be doing one test hand before I get into the deck profile as I do want to show off the Fenrir. I think playing Board Breakers in this deck along with the Fenrir is really cool because the Fenrir Fenrir nets you another monster that you can use for Guardian Chimera, while you just happen to play the whole arsenal for Super Poly, just giving this deck more power while also being able to OTK more freely, you're just able to put out much more damage on board. We're going to special summon out the Fenrir, play around the Droll by using the effect of the Claws first, get ourselves the Chimera Fusion, and again, if you do get Drolled, we don't necessarily have anything to fuse into but I just wanted to show that you should probably do that first depending on what your hand is, but we're then going to get ourselves the other copy of Fenrir, get ourselves the Fright for Patchwork additions for the Edgem Chain and the Poly, as now we can fuse away with the Poly into our Gazelle, as we'll be able to use the effect of the Claws and the Edgem along with the Phantom Beast as Chainlink 3, as we'll get ourselves the Poly along with the addition of the Quotals and the Hand Rip that we'll get as Chainlink 3 during the end phase, as from there we'll be able to use Use the effect of the Quotal to get the Swordsman, so that we can now use our Branded Fusion, and the really cool thing that you can do here is use the effect of the Lubellion as Chainlink 1, so that you can pitch the Mirror Swordsman as Chainlink 1, and then on Chainlink 2, you can use the Burfamet sent for the Branded Fusion in order to revive the Mirror Swordsman, so that you can get your engine going like that, but you'll also have the Negation on field. We can summon out the Mirror Jade off of the Lubellion, as we can set the Super Poly and the Chimera Fusion, and pass to our opponent where we can get our engine going with the Mirror Swordsman to get our Burfamet, then we can use the Burfamet in order to get ourselves the search. With all of the combos out of the way, we can get onto the deck profile. See, I am on the talents with the Thrust. Thrust search is your Fright for Package or your Handed Fusion, which is really nice. Then you have the three Super Polys, which again, you see that we play the four in targets for it. Also have the four Branded Fusion targets here, or really the five. The Sprint is more so here because you can use the Fallen of Albaz revived by the Rinbrum in order to fuse away with an opponent's effect special summon monster turn and go into this and this can also tutor out your kit. The last new card I also want to go over is Chimera the Illusion Magical Beast and this one takes Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast plus one Illusion Monsters or one plus Illusion Monsters and this card's name becomes Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast and is treated as a Phantom Beast card while on the field or in the graveyard. This card can make attacks on monsters each battle phase up to the number of fusion materials used for its summon. This card battles a monster, neither monster can be destroyed by that battle. This card battled an opponent's monster at the end of the damage step. You can change that opponent's monster's attack to zero, also negate its effects. So a true OTK machine at that where you're just able to fuse away multiple illusion monsters and then turn your opponent's monster's attack to zero and then you have stuff like the Super Poly and the Fenrir to give you more damage is where this deck can really cheese out wins. Outside of that, I'd like to think everything else is pretty self-explanatory. You play three of the Claws, three of the Swordsmen, three of the Clodals because they're your engine pieces. Three of the Chimera Fusion because you want to see it so you can fuse away into your Chimera, the Phantom Beast King, and just get your plays rolling like that. Especially considering that most of what you're fusing away into has benefits in the graveyard, which is just another thing that I like. I mentioned before, the kit is here to be searched either via the Burfamet or a special summon off of the Sprint, the one Albaz for the Branded Fusion. On to some of the options, you have stuff like the Proxy F Magician that you can play, but I don't really think that you need it. It takes more commitment to the board, and I just like the idea of playing Dragos de Pelia more. Then we have the Anti-Spell Fragrance, which is a weakness and also a strength. 
So because Chimera Fusion is a quick play spell, there are times where you can play around it, but I would suggest probably side decking some Cosmic Cyclones for it. Crossout Designator is here because Droll and Tension Barrier are also problems. You have to consider that this deck is very similar to what Despia used to be. A lot of its weaknesses also translated. The big difference here is the ability to just play so many going second cards. I would also like to talk about the rank 6. If you're playing the best deals, you can play a rank 6 because the Chimera is a level 6. Just thought that would be worth pointing out. But anyways, I'll just take you on to the card by card. As we have the 3 Claws, the 3 Mirror Swordsmen, the 3 Kotals, the 3 Chimera Fusion, the 1 Kit, the 1 Albaz, the 2 Burfamet, the 2 Polys, 2 for Patchwork, 2 Edgem Chain, the 3 Branded Fusion, 1 Druus Worm, 2 Magna Hut, the 3 Imperms, the 3 Super Poly, the 1 Thrust, the 2 Talons, the 3 Fenrirs, the extra deck is 1 Mud Dragon, Garura, the Magnum, Dragos de Pelia, 2 Chimeras, the 1 Chimera, the Illusion Magical Beast or Mythical Beast, the 2 Guardian Chimera, the 1 Sprint, the 1 Rinbrum, the 1 Albion, which the Mirror Swordsman is a Light, and then we have the 1 Lubellion, Jade, and the Drudge to round out the deck profile. For everyone who's made it this far, I'd like to thank you for watching and for the 500 plus subs. We're actually at 550 now, so that's really cool, and I thank you guys for so much support that you guys have given me over the last couple of months, but... We've monetized the channel, giving us access to supers and memberships, which means more awesome stuff is on the horizon. To get the channel membership, just click on the description below, and there will be a link that takes you there. You'll also notice a free Discord link that I've made for us too. If you want to support me as a content creator, even if you can't donate supers or get a membership for the channel, clicking on those thumbs up and subscribe buttons help a lot too. For those wondering, I do plan on making updates to the channel as the support on the channel grows, but anyways, I hope to see you on the next one. It's Bones, signing out.